How's it going, guys? I haven't started this video at all, really. Um, I was going to kind of record my day today, but decided to take a little bit of a break, and I was going to start tomorrow morning. But because this just happened, I'm going to start the video off with this. So I'm here at this beautiful place with the city view, and there is a sign that says they close at 10 o'clock. I figured I'd, you know risk my chances I came here um, and uh, as I was just lying down it's 12 30 ish security comes in I heard their car so I was like okay gotta make sure to see what it is and I see his security he gets out of his car I was like hey man hey I'll leave no worries he's like no you don't gotta leave I don't mind if you stay but I gotta lock the gate I'll be back to unlock it at like 4 30 5 or 4 4 30 and I was like what like, all right, well, that's cool, man. I, I appreciate that. He's like, yeah, no, I don't care if you stay, man. That's no problem. <clears throat> so security gave me permission to stay here. I'm just kind of locked in now, and I can't leave even if I wanted to. So that's all right with me. <laughs> that means nobody else can come in here and bother me. So I can start my generator back up if I want, because I'm pretty far away from the houses. I don't think they'll hear the hear my generator, but I'm probably okay for power for now. So... Yeah, everyone have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the morning when I wake up. I'll show you my beautiful view. Look at this view out my windshield. It literally looks like a green screen. This is crazy. Clutch are out enjoying the day. Beautiful view. Oh, I love this view so much. My van's just up there on the top of the hill. Just came down here to let Clutch run around a little bit and play with the ball. He gets along with other dogs, but sometimes he has too much energy for them and they don't like him very much, so. I just let him play by himself sometimes <laughs> until he's too tired. Get your ball. Get your ball clutch. Your ball, not that stick. He's like, no, nah, I found a stick. I like the stick. Where's your ball? Get your ball. You can just see the tip of the van up there. So yeah, even though, clutch, hey, get away from the edge, buddy. <laughs> that always scares me. So even though the security guard was nice enough to let me stay last night, I don't think I want to stay here again tonight, so I'm going to try and find a different spot. Um, I've been running my generator most of the day to charge my batteries up because my big solar panel is not working and I don't have my sm small solar panel mounted yet, so I don't have any solar coming in, so... And it's running my generator, charging my batteries that way, and I'll probably, well, I know I'll be good for the night uh, for power to go park wherever. So, yeah, I'm going to go do that. Hey, Clutch, get away from the edge, buddy. Get your ball. But yeah, I just don't want to go park somewhere, you know, where there's maybe houses around and run my generator and annoy everybody. So, yeah, hopefully I get some solar. Look, we got some sun now, so if my solar panels were working, they'd be working right now. But... They're not, unfortunately. So, yeah. I just put $210 of gas in this freaking van, dude. I don't know how low it was on gas because my gas gauge doesn't work. This is the second time I filled it up. The first time I filled it up, I put 20 bucks in it and it was full. So either it wasn't full and actually full that first time and it was just spitting back out for some reason or and maybe I didn't have it in properly or something. That's what she said. Or this thing used that much gas just driving it from where it was to my buddy's house, idling it a few times, going to the mall and back once. Another place after that, I drove a buddy. I drove my buddy somewhere again, I think, or I went somewhere. I can't remember. And then. Now I've been out and about. So I guess I've, I've been driving a decent amount, but $210, oh my 
God, that hurts. If this thing's going to be that much on gas, I'm definitely can't afford to drive this thing across anywhere. Not even across the city, I can't afford to drive this thing. I'm going to keep an eye on this. Now that I have, I've filled it up, I pressed my trip gauge. So the next time I fill up, I'm going to see how many kilometers I've gone and how much it cost me to fill up. And that way I can determine what my miles per gallon are and stuff like that. Because if my mile per gallon is... I don't know, just a ridiculous number. This thing's running like pretty good right now, but maybe that's why it was just getting too much gas. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm gonna be a little bit easier on the pedal. I don't know how much easier I can be driving this thing. It's not like I'm freaking sliding around corners or anything, but you know, that hurt. That hurt. Two hundred and ten dollars just for gas. That's that's insane. That is insane. Oh my gosh. I really hope DoorDash gets back to me ASAP so I can start doing delivery with Clutch. He's in the back sleeping or chilling. But that's actually a job that I can do in the Taurus with Clutch. I couldn't do it in this thing if this thing's that bad on gas, but I'll do it in the Taurus. And that way I can at least make some money to save up while I have little to no expenses. But yeah, this thing's going to be expensive to take anywhere on road trips if that's gonna be how much it is to fill it up on gas every time look at that ten dollars a hundred dollars and a hundred dollars so as I mentioned before I didn't really want to stay in that spot I know the security guard was super nice to let me stay but I don't want to take advantage of that but I'm moving to another spot that I know by the Kelowna Airport it's a really awesome spot and uh, I stayed there for almost a week and I met uh, another van lifer there named Vlad I talked about him in my earlier videos and yeah, so I'm gonna go there. Maybe he's even still there right now. Maybe, we'll see. But probably not, that was like a month or so ago. <laughs> I know he said he had been there for three weeks already, but that's a long time. Hey, Gretchen. <laughs> we're at the new spot for the night. This is uh, where it all started when I got the Kelowna. Alright, so it's about 2.30 a.m. here at my spot by the airport. I was actually up already because sometimes I just wake up in the middle of the night and I'm not tired for an hour or so, watch a show and fall back asleep. But I was actually up and uh, the semi that was parked here on the other side of the parking lot, he was backing out. It was a triple or a double B hauling logs and I guess turning around, I was a little bit in his way. So for the second night, I've gotten a knock on my window now, staying out in the van. But both times, people were super nice. The first time, the security guard let me stay and he <laughs> locked me in. And this time, the trucker, the truck driver was just like super nice. He was like, hey man, I'm sorry, I know it's super late, but I don't think there's a way I could get out of here. You're just a little bit of my way. Do you think you could back up? And I was like, oh my God, dude, I'm so sorry, man. Like, I didn't realize I was gonna be in your way at all. I'm like, my bad, I didn't even think about that, dude. I'm sorry, no worries. And I was already awake anyways. So started up the van, moved it back, and let him, uh, let him leave out of the way. So I definitely gotta take that into consideration every time I park. I always usually do, especially in truck stops, I make sure I'm nowhere near gonna be in the way. Um, but this big empty parking lot, I didn't think that I would be in the way, but uh, I really <clears throat> also didn't notice that it was a double B um, semi, so two trailers on the semi with logs on it. So it's very hard to back up back on the road. Or so it definitely makes sense. I didn't notice that it was two trailers, so obviously you wouldn't be able to back that up very easily. So yeah, second night in a row, actually staying out in public in the van. Both nights I've gotten a knock, but both times were nice. Don't. That don't make that thing don't make don't let that make you think that every time 
the people are gonna be nice though because sometimes they might tell you to leave sometimes they might be hey buddy what the heck are you doing in my way blah 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 you know don't let people like don't don't let people like that get to you just uh, you know try and be self-aware of where you are and make sure you're not gonna be in the way of anyone now that I'm in uh, not now that he's gone I moved over a little bit and went a little bit more far forward in this parking lot so that any other big truck should have enough room to turn around I'm going to finish up this episode here I'm not gonna show that too much because I don't want to get a copyright thing on this and I'm gonna go back to sleep for a little bit and uh, yeah we'll see you guys in the morning <laughs> Going back to bed, it's now like 6 a.m. and I woke up again just cuz I'm still super tired. <clears throat> but I woke up and there's a car parked right in front of my van, which is weird. So obviously, I was like, What the heck are they doing? I'm worried about my Starlink because my Starlink's out there. I have no clue what they're doing. Let me see, they just parked right there. So, I don't know, there's a huge parking lot. There's a huge parking lot here, so I'm not sure why they're parked right there. All the places, especially seeing as I have my generator going, wouldn't that be kind of loud parking right in front? The only thing I can think of is maybe they pulled up and they decided to plug into my generator, which I'm like, whatever, like if you need power, you need the power, but it's kind of disrespectful to not even try and ask. I don't know what's more disrespectful to not ask or to not for to wake someone up and ask I don't know so I can't sleep anymore because I have to wait until these people freaking leave to make sure they don't steal my Starlink or steal any of my shit or something whatever they're doing I gotta make sure they're not causing a ruckus you guys a quick idea how big this parking lot is this is out of the back window this side literally looks the same and they're parked right there right there for some reason isn't that weird Well, good morning everybody. It's the next day. That car ended up just sleeping there. I don't know if he just, he wasn't plugged into my generator or anything. I don't know if he just wanted to be close to someone or something. I don't know. <laughs> Clutch, too far. Um, but yeah, so in, I was gonna do my bells today. Instead, actually, uh, my criminal record check came through for DoorDash. And I need to go complete at least uh, one delivery so I can get my uh, red card and bag in the mail. So I'm going to go uh, park the van probably and uh, I don't know, maybe I'll take the van to do the door dash. We'll see. I'll probably go park the van though and take the tour so to go do this door dash. Maybe I'll go do a few more door dashes and uh, make a little bit of money today. All right, well, I'm finally done being lazy. I started up the van and uh, I'm gonna go ahead to go get the Taurus so I can do this door dash and do a few more so I can make some money. some DoorDash. I was in the best mood ever. So excited. I still am excited for DoorDash, but what I'm not excited for is using a three inch deck screw to use the signal lights on my car because this dog, 
He's hiding. You can, I think you can see his head right there. Jumped in the freaking car over the steering wheel. Over the steering wheel and ripped off my freaking signal light, high beams, and windshield wiper lever. So this used to be right there. And he jumped and broke it off. So now to use my signal light, because I need to use signal lights during delivery and driving. That's my signal light now. Yep. And if I want to use my wipers, I need to two-hand it or very fan. Oh, there you go. I can do it like that. There you go. Can use my wipers. Well, we have our first dash. Oh my gosh, my windshield looks dirty in the camera. Got my first dash sitting there from Subway, going up pretty much to where uh, I'm staying is at. And then, yeah, I'm gonna go keep dashing the rest of the night. The view from my first door dash. I love BC. You'll never get a view like this door dashing in Winnipeg. Good way to see the city. So I gotta say, even just after doing my first door dash, that this is a really good way to see the city that you're in, just doing some door dash. I got to just go up this mountain, this road that I never would have gone up um, for this door dash. It was a really beautiful spot. And it's a good way to be able to find your way around the city. And if you have a pet, it's a good way to be able to work and be able to have your pet with you. <laughs> Did anybody else know that DoorDash, DoorDash is from like Home Depot and Walmart and stuff? I'm doing a DoorDash right now. And this is what I just had to pick up. A can of Tor... 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 I had to pick that up. Who is DoorDashing that? Wakey, wakey. There, now I don't look as much of a mess. Still look like a mess though. This is gonna be a really long video, but this is, I think the third day of this video, I'm going out to do some more door dashing today. I haven't been able to edit or post anything up because I've just been busy. Well, not a bad third night doing the DoorDash. The first night I made about $50 minus $20 of fuel, so only 30 bucks, and it was about three hours. Yesterday, I made 160 minus about $40 in gas, and then today I've made $220 minus about $50 in gas. So, decent, I guess. It's not the greatest, but for just driving around and being able to have him with me while work, I'm not gonna complain. I'm gonna try and wrap this video up quick fast because it's already super, super, super long, but I need an ending to this video. So I'm just gonna say goodbye. Peace, we'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Getting DoorDash was decent. I'm gonna continue doing the DoorDash for a little while and try and actually make some money with that. I really can't complain. If I can make like between $150, $200 a day doing that, then like I'm laughing and it's easy work. And that's like, after my gas kind of thing so i'm going to do that around here for a little while save up some money and then go down to vancouver and then i possibly have a job offer with a buddy down there um but i might also just do some skip the dishes down there as well uh i'm in doordash i mean but i'm going to be doing skip the dishes as well uh starting in a couple of days here soon so yeah uh, stay tuned for that maybe i'll do like a little bit of a um see who is better doordash or skip i'm probably going to be skip better it skips better doordash is kind of slow sometimes but today they were like ridiculously fast and the last tip that i got was a 25 dollars tip making my order a 40 dollars order which was like mint so anyways guys yeah i'm gonna just say uh peace out because this video is super long already and i appreciate anyone that did watch to the end and i love you all and we'll see you in the next video peace